Okay, so it is turn six for the 1942 scenario, and it is the United States turn. And I'm gonna do China um, at the end of America. So let's go ahead and do the damages first. So the damage comes off the battleship over here in the med. Sadly, this battleship didn't have that chance. So they had 77 IPCs. They're gonna buy two aircraft carriers, three fighters, one transport, and one destroyer. And that should be uh, 77 IPCs. So I only have one attack that the United States is gonna do. Let me get my camera. It's gonna be, um, I'm attacking Greece. So these two transports are gonna pick up two infantry and uh, one tank and one artillery. And they're gonna move uh, one, two, three into C zone 99 and be dropped off into Greece. Uh, the two transports are going to stay right there. All right. The battleship is also going to bombard. And I believe that's all that I'm going to be attacking with. So let's go ahead and do that battle. So let me just do my battleship uh, bombardment. So hopefully I get a kill. And that's a kill. All right, and for your infantry, you got a five. So Greece is liberated and under American control. Whoops. Aircraft carrier with the two fighters um, in C zone 92. They're going to go to 99. And actually, um, one fighter that was on the uh, aircraft carrier in 92. He's gonna go uh, one, two, three, and he's gonna land on the uh, the British uh, aircraft carrier. And the uh, one destroyer, he's gonna go one, two, three. And land over there. The sub, he's gonna go um, into 105, do some uh, convoys. The fighter will also 
be landing on this aircraft carrier from um, this guy. Um, one transport. We'll go into C zone 110. I believe that's 110 from uh, 91. The two infantry, well, the three infantry in um, Algeria. Actually, no. I think that's correct. The two infantry in Algeria will move up into Tunisia. And the two mechs will go into Libya. That transport that was a 91, he picked up one artillery and one infantry, and they're going to be dropped off into London. <laughs> it's just a mess over there. And uh, this transport, he's going to go um, one, two, into 109. The two transports over here in 101 will pick up two uh, infantry and one tank. Actually, no, they're going to pick up three infantry and one tank. And two. And be dropped off into Morocco. And actually, the, the two infantry in Morocco will move forward into Algeria, and the one artillery will move into Algeria. Here, the strategic will move one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I forgot, I got a strategic over here too. He's gonna go um, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and he's going to be dropped off into Tunisia. So I'm just counting right now. One, two, three. Yeah, the um the transport is gonna Huh. This is kinda difficult to decide. He's just going to stick put. Actually, you know what? Yeah, he's going to stay put. So the two aircraft carriers, they're going to go into a 10. Let me quit wasting time. I got to go. And the three fighters will spawn right there. along with the other transport 
and the one destroyer. <clears throat> Alright, so disposition of forces. I have one artillery. Actually, you know what? Here's what I'm gonna do. The one transport. He's gonna go up into 101, pick up the infantry and the triple A, and drop them off into Western United States. <clears throat> Alright. So I got an infantry and artillery and a triple A in Western United States. I have two transports. Two destroyers, two aircraft carriers, and three fighters. In Honolulu, I got two infantry and one fighter. Midway, one infantry. Wake Island, one infantry. Solomon Islands, two infantry, one artillery. New Queensland, or just Queensland, I have one strategic. In Dutch New Guinea, I got infantry and artillery. In Java, I have two infantry, one tank, one mech. In Greece, I got two infantry, one artillery, one tank. In 99, I have one aircraft carrier, one fighter, one battleship, and two transports. <clears throat> In Libya, I have two mechs. In Tunisia, I got two infantry, one strategic. Algeria, two infantry, one artillery. In Morocco, I got one tank, two, three infantry. 91, I got one aircraft carrier, one tactical, and two transports. Eastern United States, I got one triple A. Sea Zone 105, I got one sub. Sea Zone 109, I got one transport. In London, I got two infantry and two artillery. Um, in Sea Zone 110, I got one transport, one destroyer, and two fighters on the British aircraft carrier. All right, I believe that is it. So I had 50 plus 20, 70 IPCs, plus Brazil, so 72, Java, 76, Algeria, 77, Greece, 78, 79. 79 IPCs for the Americans to use next term. All right, so I'm gonna zoom in to China's turn. And they have five IPCs. They're gonna purchase one infantry and have two left over. Alrighty, so in Shinsi, I'm gonna have one infantry and the fighter will attack. And then the three infantry in Kansu will attack the one infantry in Singhai. All right, so let's do that battle. I have uh, three infantry against your one infantry. Got a kill, got a one, nice. And then for your infantry, you got a kill back. Nice. So I got two Chinese that are left over there. All right, so saying hi, my one infantry and one fighter against your one infantry. So I'm gonna roll for my fighter. Got a one. And then roll for your infantry. You also got a one. Damn. So Shinsi is not liberated, but the infantry is killed there. And you killed one of my Chinese guys. All right, and then um, my fighter's gonna have to land here. Where did that China man go? Where did that China man go? He's gonna go into Kansu. And that ends up for China. So they had two IPCs plus two left over. So they got four IPCs to use 
for um, whenever they get a turn, because I believe they won't have a turn after next turn. <laughs> I'm sorry, China. That's just the way it is. They have two infantry in Singai and one infantry in Kansu. All right, fellas, so I will turn it over to Germany and I will see what what Germany has going on. A lot of stuff, a lot of stuff.